bro. Get out of the bike lane, man. Look at this nonsense. Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. If you're a first timer, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. <laughs> Today we're gonna have another one of those uh, commute to work videos. Uh, so we are going to be cutting through Queens directly to get into Manhattan. If the view looks a little bit different, that's because I'm wearing the uh, my Pock mountain bike helmet. It's been a while since I've worn this, but it is one of my favorite helmets. Uh, so the view will be a little bit lower. Also appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe but for now uh, enjoy this commute today is gonna be about one of those uh, 15 minute commute videos maybe 20 uh, depending on the traffic that we're gonna be going through here it's gonna be pretty straightforward we're basically going from Queens into Manhattan. So if you've always been curious to see how the Super 73 holds up as a commuter bike here in New York City and see what it's like to navigate one of the most congested cities in the world. Keep watching and you'll get a chance to experience it firsthand here on the first person view. So as you guys can see, it's starting to get cold here. Leaves are falling everywhere and it is fall so we're wearing the bubble jackets I'm just trying to stay warm and the riding season's almost over but some of us commute all year round so it's not really that much of a big deal to go from summer to autumn or fall into winter we're going to continue to ride as long as it's not uh, too crazy outside as you guys can see it is pretty congested here coming up so we're going to take this bridge over instead I know I keep talking about buying winter gloves, but I still have not bought winter gloves. had about a week of uh, 70 degree weather here in New York and of course me being cheap I was like well I could hold off on this hundred dollar purchase for another couple of weeks and it looks like that was a mistake in itself because it's starting to get cold so I might as well
I might as well you know, pick it up myself here. Get out of the bike lane, man! The f Look at this nonsense. See this this nonsense of drivers. As a as a driver myself, uh, I I feel like I'm very mindful of what's happening around me as far as you know not being a dick and being in the bike lane like that. But some people just don't give a f don't give a shit, and that's really annoying as a commuter. I really can't wait for them to come up with that legislation that allows you to take this footage that you have here and record and submit for uh, bike lane violations. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that, but here in New York City, they're trying to introduce almost like this uh, commission for reporting traffic violations in the bike lane, which is gonna be a welcome, welcome, welcome change for us because I believe it was a 30% commission that they're offering on reporting evidence and videos that show people are doing these stupid, stupid things in the bike lane. And I think the, the proposed amount for the uh, tickets are, I believe, $185. So 30% of $185 is still 50 bucks. And with the amount of violations that we see in a day, I think I can make a, a part-time job out of just riding in the bike lanes and being a snitch. I mean, I drive 
as a person who's mindful of where I park my car and that does things right, it's not going to affect me one bit. So I don't give a damn. But to be able to collect 50 bucks on that, that's super dangerous, man. That's just super dangerous. super congested with a lot of the commuters coming back because it is 60 degrees but I'm not sure if we'll get there early enough so a little upsetting I ended up oversleeping uh, been about I think two and a half weeks now since I've had my fourth booster shot for the COVID so it's been about four and a half or three and a half weeks of, or three weeks of just exhaustion uh, Exhaustion, um, shortness of breath, and all this fun stuff. Oh, what's going on here? So, yeah, I just hope that in the near future, it won't be as bad, uh, or in the short term future, it won't be as bad here. Uh, or it gets better but I have been oversleeping a lot since since then my energy levels have been quite low so as a person that's got a weaker immune system I'm just hoping that I made the right decision we, we do have this uh, massive wedding coming up there's uh, two group rides happening this weekend one with the Richmond Riders in Staten Island I wanted to go to on Saturday. And then uh, one with uh, Raid Dynamics. They're doing the, the marathon route on Sunday morning. And uh, Super 73 Maryland's going to be there. And a couple of other guys are doing that big route on Sunday. And I wanted to do that too. But I will be at a wedding. The scary thing about this wedding is it's a, it's a big wedding. And you gotta just rely on people are gonna be there without or respectfully. But here we are everyone. We are approaching our work area here. So I'm going to assume this is a one-way video today because we haven't been able to capture any good night footage with the uh, 360 camera. I'm not too sure how to get it to perform better in night shots, but uh, until I do, we're just going to be recording during the day and we're just going to be recording the commute to work. As always, Thank you for accompanying me on this commute to work. I truly appreciate y'all. If you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. If you have any advice on the settings for the 360 camera to get better night footage. And please consider subscribing 
hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time we upload a video. And from here on out, it's time to say goodbye, everyone. Uh, have a great day. And I look forward to having you on the next ride. Stay safe. And we'll see you in the next couple of days. Peace.